Hey folks, welcome back to Let's Play Nobunaga's Ambition Taishi Anima Series JG. Man, I had to confess to a Let's Play crime in the last video. This is a much bigger one. I just recorded about 26 minutes and am discarding it and going back and throwing out the video because... I guess I'll explain when we get there. There's a game mechanic I don't understand with the morale meter, but I lost two battles. One where I inflicted much more damage than I took, and it just eventually said, You lose! And, um... Then I ended up losing all the troops because, you know, of the damage inflicted during the retreat. And there was another one where I didn't even I didn't even engage them. Um, so off screen, uh, our main main army arrived on uh, in Cho in uh, Shikoku and encountered the enemy. And both of us only had like less than a fifth of our forces, and the rest of it. It's this weird thing where if you sit still. Before troops have engaged on the battlefield, like, the entire force of your army won't be on the battlefield. And if you remain still, as soon as you start to march, you don't gain any more troops. But troops will be added from your total army to your units on the field if you wait. But while just waiting for my troop strength to build up, the morale meter kept... Like, the enemy didn't move either. Like, we never fought each other. But it just, I just kept getting messages, the battle's been going on so long, your troops are exhausted. We hadn't fought yet. We hadn't actually engaged the enemy. And eventually it gave me a message saying, the battle's completely lost. We must retreat. I wonder how many of us will make it home. And it was ridiculous. I, I had about the same numbers as them, but I was bringing in level 2 infantry. And for some reason when we fought, it just showed no, um, like, none of the troops from either army. Both of our armies had, like, 20% of our troop counts were actually on the field. I don't understand why. I should have just pressed forward and attacked, but I was trying to figure out this whole mechanic. I also lost as the Chosakabe reinforcements who got in the first battle, and that one I really didn't understand. I just... I kept losing the morale battle no matter what. Like, I was doing more damage than I was taking, but losing the morale battle. So anyway, I'm... I don't want to do this often, and I'm, I'm admitting what happened, but it's like... These catastrophic losses, and in one case, like, we didn't even touch the enemy. It's just, like, auto-retreat defeat. It didn't make any sense, so... That's kind of why I'm, just, like, willing to toss that video and try again and see if I can figure this thing out better. So I'm in a very bad mood now as I'm playing this, uh, which is unfortunate, because I was really looking forward to... I had, had some fun stuff happen off-screen. I was looking forward to, um... Looking forward Allow to it. To they, I guess it, what they said is the battlefield is narrow, so it might have been a thing with the terrain. But... Here are last month's results. Yeah, and we're, t we're losing a ton of food because we've got such big armies in the field, and three of them. And now the bat a fucking battery now? Ugh. So anyway, I'm gonna go redo all my actions and hope they go better this time. Right. I made a joke off screen, Bobo the Vulture working on I Combat understand. University, aka CU. I understand. And um off screen, I played around with upgrading some um, reservoirs because they also bring in more food. I was prioritizing the ones that affected two cities and then realized the hell with it, just go after all of them. Because there's not that many. So this went way better off screen than it did on screen, and I'm tempted to actually let the Chosakabe fight their battle without me controlling it, because uh, when I controlled it, it went terribly, and I'm not 100% sure why. Understand. 
So, yeah, I really want to actually finish this clan off completely because I'm going to need its officers. I can't afford to just take a couple of cities and then sit. I'll have, like, one officer per city if I don't get their officers. So, I just need to be better in this battle than I was last time. I really don't understand the combat mechanics in this game that well. I mean, I could redirect. Now it's time. March up. Well. Maybe I want to march this way. We march. Because it seems like I'm doing better fighting in the plains when I can actually use my whole army. And fighting in these little narrows, I was having weird problems. So now their army's going to come over here and, and fight the... Uh, Well, maybe we'll end up having a naval battle with them. I don't know. They'll be there waiting for us for sure. With our new path. So I'll start taking over their cities from behind using the Chozakabe. And I might have a hard time with the Shimazu. They've definitely got us outnumbered. And I've done fine when I had... Okay, now they're, they're redirecting to go deal with the uh, Chozakabe. I think I'll do better in an open field than in these mountain pass maps. So Tok Tokitaka has become sick. That happened last time too, so that seems to be locked in. We're going through the food fast though. So once we get to a point where an army is not useful, I need to disband it immediately. Alright, so that's our fertilizer. Development. Don't think anything in the uh, Island University is ready yet. So I'll go to work on trading towns. gets expensive and the fishing towns I'm I was doing a lot of fishing town stuff off screen now I'm like more about reservoirs for whatever reason but the fishing towns are they're more important they're pretty important now they're going to give us um, they're gonna make it easier for us to maintain these big marches Gonna keep going until I run out of money here, which we just did. Okay. I'm tempted to do a save. I really I don't like to save scum in these games, but I definitely haven't quite figured out the combat system in this game yet. It seems like you're dominating with the Shimazu and their infantry, and suddenly I get to a battle where I I'm not losing troops, I'm losing morale rapidly, and I don't know if there's combat policies I need to be learning to, to fix that. I also another reason I got frustrated is I started running out of juice on the controller again. So let me just quick do that before we get into the middle of a battle. Yeah, I really don't get it. I it, Things were going swimmingly and suddenly it was like off screen. I almost wanted to keep it and just have it as a failure video that I would showcase. Matter of fact, I still have the footage. I guess I could do that. Um, but uh yeah, it's just like, wait, we didn't even lose any troops, and suddenly we're being told, you've been completely defeated, we must retreat. Like, no troop loss. Anyway, we are going to get in a fight here, but it'll be on open plains, it looks like. And, you know, I gotta inflict some damage here to make up for... Where are you going? Let's switch that over. Because... The way things are going now, Advance. we're probably going to be having this little 
It's not, they're not a little army, but this army will be more about mopping up Shall we go? Uh, the cities than being involved in the big battles, I think. Advance, so I'm advance. switching which ones are going after which. So they will be fighting on a plane, or like outside of a city now. Nope, the battlefield is narrow. Why? I don't know if they mean the battlefield is narrow as in there's a narrow difference between the troop levels. But it seems like there's a different message usually for that. This is going with the Rush Main Camp. Show you our skill. Rush main camp's plan that uses a unit that strikes the enemy's main camp. The unit holds back its powers into fighting the enemy unit, so it won't be able to fight much when it finds the enemy however it charges directly at them. I guess we'll try it. So we have a few more troops that we could add. They've got a lot more troops that have not come to bear. We want to charge in uh, before they start getting their full powers to bear in that case. Because they have us outnumbered, but not all of their troops have been able to take the field. So to this weird mechanic I don't understand is, seems to be to our advantage this time. I don't know where the main enemy is expected to be. I must find the enemy in four turns. Well, I'm charging forward as fast as I can here. Okay, so Kutsuna. We're looking for Konu. Okay. We think he's right there in the back. Which you would expect. Okay, he's going to prevent us from getting right at the uh, main enemy guy. Because this is the commando Prepare unit, right? Please, command. Let's begin. Please, give me a command. Let's begin. Command me. Let's move it. All right, let's see if this works. He's trying to cut off the commando. First strike always wins. Okay. If you fear not death, then come at me. Found the enemy. All right, well... The guy that we want I think he's the commander. Go command. Prepare yourselves. Oh, these guys have all been lured by that guy, damn it. Okay, I don't think this is gonna work out for us very well at all right now. Especially when they got muskets. We did pinch them, but now I got raided. Oh, crap. Yeah, I can't give anybody orders because they've been raided. Let's begin. So this sucks. This is not going my way at all. Muskets aren't helping. The bogus. We have not found the enemy uh, 
We weren't able to find the main camp. Rush main camp has ended in failure. I'm able to order my freaking troops now. Please give me a command. With this plan, I will leave you in the dust. Go ahead and charge, I guess. Yeah, this is kind of going bad. I just need to inflict some damage before we lose all the morale. Fire. Yeah, I just keep losing control of all my units. I'm allowed to order anybody? No, can't order you. Please give me a command. Can't order you at least. Fighting time, build up defense, sure. But no, this is clearly not going our way. Um, you guys are about to get wiped out. Gain the advantage. Yeah, because we've been encircled. This is what happened last time, too. Try to do some damage on the way out, but... Um, I don't really know what to do about this to, to make this go better. We did some damage, but not not very much. Lost the battle against the Kono. So now as our armies arrive over here, we'll obviously have to do a lot better. But we didn't do that much damage to them, frankly. They're, they're moving super fast. What the fuck? Meanwhile, succeeding the Thunder God, Dosetsu Takibana, the Thunder God of the Otomo clan. Though a warrior whose name was known all across the land, he was never blessed with the sun, even nearing the ripe age of 70. There was a warrior he had his eye on, however, Munatora Takahashi, heir to fellow Otomo clan retainer Juan Takahashi. Joun, maybe. Dosetsu had asked Joun countless times to allow him to adopt Munatora as a son. I can't remember what it was, but Munatura was at my estate watching criminals cut each other down. They fought fiercely, mercilessly spilling each other's blood, yet Munatura watched without a hint of hesitation or nervousness at such a young age, no less. He's a real psychopath. Dot, dot, dot. So I thought one day he would become a great warrior in his own right. I mean, the ability to watch people slaughter each other and be nonplussed must make you a great warrior. Dot, dot, dot. Jaun, I do this not for the sake of my clan, but for the Otomo itself. <laughs> yeah, bullshit. I am seven years of age when I pass from this world. When the Takibana falls, who will hold up the Otomo by your side? It cannot only be the Takahashi. The clan needs the Takibana as well. Should Munatora succeed the Takibana, its soldiers will joyfully fight for the Otomo, even without me. Please, Jaun, would you let Munatora marry into the Takibana? Understood. If you desire it so, Sir Dotetsu, I cannot refuse. Forgive me, and thank you. I will never forget this favor. Forgive me, oh innocent one, with the cool head wrap. Not at all. Please take care of my foolish son. Dosetsu Takibana had a daughter. Since he had no son to call his own, he brought her up as a warrior. Her name was Ginchio, with the character for Gin meaning to listen humbly. And Chio means never. <laughs> So her name means never listening humbly. I do not wish to hear any of this. But you haven't even met Munatora yet. I have heard the rumors. But I have lived as a warrior and now control a castle. I have no intention of changing my way of life now of all times. 
Dot, dot, dot. And was it not you, father, who told me to live this way? Did I bring her up the wrong way? I should have slapped her more. Spanked her, I should say. You don't really slap kids, you spank kids. I'm sorry. That is why I've lived as a warrior. That is why I wish to master the martial path and eventually become a warrior on your level, father. Well, that ain't gonna happen. Munator's potential... Munator's potential as a warrior may be greater than mine. D do you speak truly, father? I cannot believe that. I totally want to marry him now. Oh my god, can I have ponies at the wedding? I'm setting him to be the heir to the Takibana. I would not lie about this. And I can't imagine you're doubting my appraising eye. But... Try meeting him first. Once you see his capabilities, you'll naturally come around. Munator Takahashi was Joun Takahashi's heir. Talented in the martial arts, he was said not to fall behind those older than him even when he was four or five years old. Beating down a fierce dog, pulling back a stiff bow, slaying a criminal with a single strike, his childhood was filled with a variety of valorous episodes. I am to go to Lord Dosetsu? You are. You're marrying into the family and succeeding the Takibana. Understood. Yet, Lady Ginchio, truly? I heard she's a real bee. <laughs> Foolish boy. When did you think you had a choice? Slap. Ah, uh, forgive me. That was shallow of me. Lord Dosetsu is a stirred man. Don't trouble him with your flippant talk. Understood. Phew. That was a parting gift. Take the sword. And he stabs him. Father, this is your... Oh, thank you so... Do not call me father. We're no longer father and son. You're the heir to the Takibana clan now. Uh. If the Takahashi and Takibana ever end up fighting, I want you to be their vanguard and cut me down with that sword. Sure. I mean, I... I... Lord Dosetsu hates regret more than anything. If you ever do anything to make him regret his decision and he cuts you off, then take your life with that blade. You cannot come back to the Takahashi. Yes, Sir Joon. Man, you're kind of a dick. My father's always serious. That I know, yet. Munatori married into the Takibana clan, taking on the new name of Munashige Takibana. With the blood of Joun and the training of Dozetsu, he would eventually come to be known as the mightiest in the West. However, in Neo, eventually you were able to defeat him. At this time, he was still but a boy with a powerful martial skills, born in a famed house. Okay, I really hope this goes better. Lord Yojiza, it appears to be a blizzard. Lord Yujisha, the son of Tadanaga Shimazu, your kin has been born. He'll be named Hisamoto when he comes of age. We have men who have come of age and joined our ranks. Do take a look at them when you have the time. Our clan's master, Sugamatsu Ito, has become sick. Allow me to report. Oh, he's not our clan's master. He's our clan's master. Well, whatever. Like, master is his title, I guess. Here are last month's results. So we've lost food. Not as much, because we've lost a bunch of troops. Let us begin the council. Let's begin I'd the like begin. Serena C is adding a card. Thank you, Serena C. We need some commerce points. Thank you, Grimith. We need some commerce points. Otherwise, um, I guess the bloody handed is... Probably right. We will need more diplomacy points eventually, though. Go with Earl King. No, you're, yeah, you're giving us more value, actually. Oh, unit speed up is important right now. So actually, we'll go with that because of unit speed up. I have a plan. Master Miller wants more political power up. I yes. It also makes it good that we went with the political thing. And even more political power. There's multiple ways to get more political power. Which policy shall I go with? First things first, extra actions. Now we've got two commerce actions. Political clout three will take a lot, but democratic council we can do right now. And then we can work our way up towards political... Clout 3. Pure infantry morale. Unarmed attack power up. Though I might want to get this now just to increase the power of that one unit that I didn't give any weapons to. So we spent a lot of points here. 
Hopefully, it'll all be good in the long run. And eventually, I need to make my way down to elite. I want to get elite militia too, actually. Just so I'm not always having to use infantry if I don't have enough monies. And that's pretty much all of our points spent. Lord Yoshi, he's a runner. He says they wish to join our clan. Sure. You have my thanks. Now we had people coming of age, which means we might have some imbalance in where our uh, officers ended up. Don't really need a lot of places with more than four. And it doesn't look like we have more than four anywhere, despite these new officers having joined our clan, apparently. And a trade agreement with the uh, zone with... Yeah, got it. Oh, but we got two actions now. I forgot about that. That's the whole, the whole deal here. The whole thing we were all excited about. I was excited, anyway. Continue to improve our universities. Reservoirs are not done yet, so we can work on fishing towns if we want to. Huh. huh. Well, because of the pace of this video, I didn't quite get to that second battle. But the second battle was the one that really caused me to just kind of re-quit on a video, as it were. I mean, I wasn't, like, throwing controllers around, but I was pretty pissed. Um, so I think what I'll do is I'll call this a video on a separate slot, because the next time we're going to redo this battle that was su such a disaster off-screen. But if it's still, like, a freaking disaster, I, um... I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm going to have to look at some facts on the morale mechanic in this game. Uh, I, so I, I, I'm frustrated about the, ch the battles with the Chosakabe, but I also know... There's probably, like, different tactics I should have been using because I wasn't using infantry. I couldn't count on them. I didn't have enough units, for one thing. They had more units, which meant they were able to outmaneuver me. So even though the numbers were fairly close, I had, like, a couple of really large units, and they just kept getting encircled. And I kept getting hit with musket volley, which is normally something I'm inflicting on the enemies instead of the other way around. So when we come back next time, um, I don't know. This video might not see the light of day if I... Decide I really, really can't win this next battle either. I'm not sure, folks. Catch you next time, though.